What's up, everybody? If you want to see some kawaii cat and dog toys in Japan, you've come to the right place. So I was moseying around downtown Tokyo at a cozy pace, came across some peanut chickens, and decided to take a closer look. Seems to me like we've got some full-grown peanut chickens and we've got some hatchlings popping straight out the shell. Those are some pretty nice peanut chickens right there. What else we got over here? We got a gachapon girl jammed deep inside fast food. I feel like I'm getting diabetes just looking at this chick. I mean, we got girls packed inside cheeseburgers, tucked into soda cups, slammed into french fries, and jammed deep inside hot dogs. Shit's getting crazy around here. What else we got over here? Looks like we've got some finger fox action popping off in the house. Fucking fox is twisting and turning around your finger. That's some kawaii shit right there. And what's this? Seems to me like we got some rabbit mochi action. We got a tiny rabbit chill action on top of two big ass rice balls. And I think it's looking swell as a motherfucking bell. I mean, I've weighed the pros and cons, and I have to say that's a pretty nice rabbit. And below that, we got some more finger-hugging action. We got some buck-wild polar bear pups over here. You know, they say polar bears are cold, but I could have sworn they just melted my heart. And check out these grilled vegetables. This is some revolutionary shit right here. I mean, we got char-grilled meat, asparagus, shrimp, mushrooms, and even a piece of corn. And what's next here? Whoa, 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 what is going on? We got Neko Cafe 5? I mean, call me old fashioned, but I like a good dessert cat when I see one. And here we got not one, not two, but six dessert cats. Well, I gotta say, I must have died and went to Pussy Paradiso, cause those are some nice fucking kitties right there. You best believe I'm gonna buy some of those bad boys. Just gotta get some coinage inside there. So as you can see, I twisted that knob and got me a fresh fucking feline. I might as well go in for a few more. You can never have too many pussies, that's what I always say. So I got myself another capsule and ended up buying a few more off camera as well. Alright, what's next? I think I see some dogs right there. Could it be? Yeah, it is some fucking dogs. I think we got two pugs on our hands here. We got a black pug on the left wearing some kind of devil type hat, and we got another pug on the right wearing a panda hat. I gotta say, I've seen some pretty nice dogs in my day, but these right here are looking kawaii to the max. And you know what? I'm gonna go out on a limb over here and say that I'm worth these fucking dogs. Don't think for one second that I'm not. Anyway, I bought myself a few more dogs, then I headed on home to check out my gachapon. So I got myself five new kitties and three new dogs. That's not a bad haul right there. So let me check out the kitties first, and I think I'm gonna go for this pink capsule. Just gotta pop open that capsule and look what we got here, a promotional paper. It's looking mighty fine. Now let's get that motherfucker out the way. Now it's time for the heart of the matter. It's time to liberate this kitty. Just gotta get out my Swiss Army knife scissors and snip this bad boy with buck wild precision. I swear they wrap these kitties tighter and tighter all the time. They barely have any breathing room in that capsule and I'm feeling pretty damn bad for them. And holy shit, look at that cupcake cat. Do you actually see what I'm seeing right now? I mean, this cat is inside a fucking cupcake. It's got icing on top. There's some kind of silver pearl action going on. I mean, let's put it this way. I don't know much about cupcakes, but I know a fine fucking feline when I see one, and that right there is a nice cat. Bottom line is, fortune has smiled upon me. My life has already been improved, and I cannot wait to check out the other gachapone. Next up, it's time to check out the yellow capsule. Now, I'm sure this is going to be a nice gotcha poem, but I'm having a hard time imagining how this one's going to top the previous kitty. Nonetheless, let's give it a go. 
Now, it kind of looks like I see a fish in there. Could it be? And wow, just wow. Nice fucking taiyaki right there. What's a taiyaki, you ask? It's pretty much a buck wild sweet Japanese snack. It's shaped like a fish. It's got a waffle-like dough on the outside and usually has red bean in the inside. And I think it's pretty damn nice. It's usually served as a street food and grilled to perfection. But this one? This ain't your typical taiyaki. I mean, this fucking taiyaki has a cat jammed deep inside its mouth. If that ain't revolutionary shit, I don't know what is. Anyway, it's time to check out a new cat. I think I'm gonna go for the red capsule, baby. So let's pop this bad boy open. Now, what do we got here? Looks like we got some kind of cat inside a soup bowl. It took me a good second to realize what we got on our hands. What we have here is a cat chillaxing inside a red bean soup bowl. This is a little thing called a zenzai. It's a fucking red bean soup. It's got toasted mochi inside the fucking soup. It's got a fucking cat inside the soup. I mean, this is looking pretty damn oishi if you ask me. That cat is chillaxing to the max. He's leaning against that bull's brim like a boss player. I mean, if I didn't know any better, I'd say that cat owns the place. In other words, nice fucking dessert kitty right there. Anyway, it was time for me to check out the last two gachapon. Only problem was what we had here was color variants. I mean, I popped open that white capsule and what I had was another cupcake kitty only with different colors. Now don't get me wrong, it looked fresh as hell, oishi to the max, and kawaii as fuck, but... I don't know, when I'm collecting gachapon sets, I think I want each piece to be like a unique snowflake. Is that too much to ask for? I think these fucking gachapon companies better hire me as a consultant because I got all kinds of tips. I mean, I've got my finger on the pulse of this gachapon industry. I'm part of the bleeding edge. You might even say I'm part of the avant fucking guard. Those gachapon execs better take heed, that's all I can say. Case in point, here we got another color variant, this time of the taiyaki variety. I mean, it's still a decent cat, but I can't help feeling a tad sad at what might have been. Anyway, I got five out of the total six cats in this buck wild collection, so let's see which cat I missed out on. We got those two cupcake kitties, and holy shit, look at that. That is a thing of beauty right there. That fucking cat is jammed between two pancakes topped with whipped cream and a strawberry. Man, oh man, makes me pretty sad to miss out on that cat. Almost brings a tear to my eye. Anyway, gotta try to pick up the broken pieces of my life. Gotta try to move forward. And right about now, I'm gonna check out a fresh fucking dog. So I'm popping open this pink capsule. And as you can see, there's a pretty nice promotional paper in there. I'm kind of hoping I get that panda hat pug. So let's open up that capsule and whoa, what the fuck is that? Wow, just fucking wow. I think we got a pug on our hands here, baby cakes. A fresh pug. A real fresh pug. A world peace promoting Nobel laureate fucking pug. I've got a funny feeling the world ain't big enough for this pug. I mean, do you see this pug? This fine specimen of a dog just so happens to be wearing a panda hat on its head. Something about the glimmer in its eyes embodies the wisdom of the world and a timeless charm. I've weighed the pros and cons, and I pretty much have to say from the bottom of my heart, that right there is a nice fucking dog. Time to check out the next dog. I think I'll go for this yellow capsule next. What kind of buck wild animal hat wearing dog awaits me next? My anticipation approaches the point of full blown arousal. And check out that dog. We've got a Pomeranian wearing a lion hat. I mean, let me explain it to you real simple like. We've got a poofy as fuck Pomeranian with a lion mane tied tight around its head. That thing is squeezed below the bottom of that Pomeranian's neck and tied into a buck wild bow. I gotta say, weighing the pros and cons, I happen to think that's a nice fucking dog. A decent dog. Anyway, last but not least, it's time to check out this white capsule. 
Let's see what kind of earth-shattering piece of lifeless plastic we're dealing with here. Just got to get that bad boy out of the bag and holy shit, look at that dog. To put it in basic terms, what we have here is a chihuahua wearing a bear hat. I mean, I said it before and I'll say it again. I ain't the world's biggest chihuahua fan, but even I've got to admit that right there is a nice fucking dog. Anyway, I got three out of the total six dogs in this collection, so let's see what I missed out on. We've got a ram hat toy poodle. What else we got here? We've got a chihuahua kuma white color, so I guess that's the polar bear hat I missed out on. It does seem like a decent dog, but that's just another classic example of the color variation I was talking about before. So I think I can live my life without that dog, but what's this? A pug Narisama. What the fuck is a Narisama? I don't know exactly, but to me, it kind of looked like a black pug with a demonic hat. Anyway, overall, I gotta say I'm pretty damn pleased with the dogs and cats that I came across in these collections. My personal favorite was that panda hat pug. What can I say? It was a top-notch dog. Anyway, if you'd like to revisit my first ever gotcha pwn video about the pug in the sandwich bun, then feel fucking free to check it out. I got the link in the description text. And as always, thanks for watching this video. Why don't you leave a comment? Let me know what you think.